This is part two in our blue painter's tape can be a friend to the laser engraver. In part one I showed you how to use blue painter's tape to wrap around a water bottle and put a light power to it to engrave on the tape only the picture and or the words that you want to put on it and see what it looked like where it, and then send it to the the customer to see if they uh, agreed that that was a good spot and then you could take it off and go ahead and finish it up with 100% power. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. This is leather and when it comes to leather and laser cutting, le leather tends to smoke a lot and it will put a smoky residue on the leather when you cut it. And you can clean that off with some alcohol or other things, and but it kind of dries out the leather a little bit, and that's you know a little bit of a process. If you don't want to do that, you can put blue painter's tape across your leather first, and then cut through the leather, through the painter's tape and the leather, and then peel the painter's tape off, and you'll see that it's a lot cleaner than if you just cut it without the laser, the paint, the painter's tape in the first place. I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. So we'll be right back and I'll show you that. Okay, now we're going to cut it out and I'll show you what it's going to do. So now we've got a cut, I'm going to pull them apart, first of all, I'll just pick up the leather and you'll see the pieces will fall out. So you can see on this, you can see on this leather that it's smoky around the edges. This edge, this, this edge, the smoke just left the residue on there. Now that can be cleaned off with alcohol and maybe some other things, maybe just water and some soap. But if we want to, don't want to mess with that, then we'll take the one that we put blue painter's tape on and let's peel it off. also applies to wood. Some woods will smoke like this, some won't. So it just depends on what material you're using or whether you want to try to mask it or not. There's other things you can do with painter's tape. It's pretty versatile when it comes to laser engraving. And I'll make another video later to show you some of those. In the meantime, hope this helps. We'll see you in the next one.